Hi friends, Misty here with Queen Bee's Vintage. Welcome to or welcome back to our channel. I want to welcome all of our new subscribers. Thank you so much for joining us. We are thrilled to have you here. And I want to also thank all of our loyal subscribers who have stuck with us during this little break. Um, as I said in the last video, we really have appreciated you guys reaching out to us just to check in and make sure everything is okay. And yes, it is. So um, with that being said, in today's video, we are going to be doing a Valentine's Day decor home tour. I will be showing you guys some of the vignettes I have created in my entryway, as well as my dining room tablescape and my coffee bar area. I really hope you guys enjoy the video and like what I have come up with this year. I did do a Valentine's uh, Day decor tour last year as well. I can link that in the description box below if you guys wanna check that out for some other ideas or to compare the differences of what I did last year compared to this year. So I also wanted to say one more thing. Again, my apologies for the formatting in my uh, Dollar Tree DIY Valentine's Day decor uh, tutorial video. Um, as I said in the video, I was fighting an upper respiratory infection as well as I've been dealing with some really horrible migraine uh, type headaches and they have gone from being debilitating to doable but I haven't quite been able to kick them so that was shot over the period of a week or two and I don't know what happened and why the formatting wasn't correct all the way through the video. I really try my best to make sure videos are formatted properly and edited well and uh, filmed in good lighting, which I know isn't always doable. So I hope you guys enjoyed the video despite that. And if you haven't checked it out, I hope that you will. And I hope you enjoy it. Uh, the tutorials that I did in that video um, don't only apply to Valentine's Day. You could take a lot of those techniques and tips and apply them to everyday decor or Easter decor. I've already been uh, planning and designing some fun Easter and spring tutorials for you all. So those will be coming soon. But with that being said, let's get into the video. All right, friends, we are going to start here in my entryway. Just gonna kind of give you guys an overview and then I will kind of slowly walk through it and give you guys more of a close up. I've got my cute little stuffed glittered heart. Mom made me this a few years ago and I absolutely love it. I've got my little shabby lamp on one of my nesting tables. I put the white fur pillow in here on my leopard print chair with a buffalo check pillow as well. This is kind of a little bit of the theme and you'll see more of the black and white with the leopard print in the dining room. So I hung this antique window screen in this opening in my entryway. 
and over that I hung my love banner that you guys saw me do in my $5 tree DIY tutorials video. This is my dress form that I used for my dress form tree in the dining room at Christmas. I've just put her here on the back corner of this little sideboard. And she's just got a fun little like French charm bracelet up around her neck. And I kept the black feather boa on her. Over on this little accent shelf, I just have this cute little cupcakes sign with some roses and this cute pink sequined heart. In front of my dress form, I have my love you a bushel and a peck sign and this fun little wire cross and this neat metal gold heart. Next to it, I have a drawer with my antique typewriter in it. And I put these little packets of love letters that I made. You may remember these from my tour last year. And that cute little heart that my baby girl made me in like first grade. This love sign, I actually have a DIY tutorial for how I did this. It's a trash to treasure. I was going to put it on the Dollar Tree tutorials video, but it just was too long. So I might stick it on the end of this one. I've got my cute pink gumball machine with some pearl pink and pearl white gumballs in it. Some pink roses. I have my old red vintage bird cage. I hung a little ceramic cherub ornament off the top. And inside I just have a apothecary style bottle with some roses in it. A cute little I love you more sign. And this fun little pink heart. So what I did for my Valentine's tree this year, this might look a little bit familiar. This was my Chanel inspired Christmas tree. And what I did is I took all of the Christmas ornaments off of it. I left all of my fun crowns and Chanel ornaments on it. And the little Chanel bottle ornaments I made in a DIY for you guys at Christmas time. And I added this black and white Harlequin ribbon, which I love. These gold sparkly glittered feathers. And some little glittered puffed hearts are kind of mixed in throughout the tree. These fun cake ornaments were added and some more little cherubs. Sorry if you hear noise in the background, the puppy's playing with one of her toys. And then I added these fun little um, glittered and pearl accent heart ornaments. The puppy ripped a couple of these off the tree earlier today and was tearing through the house with them. And I've added these black and white ribbon ornaments. These were from Hobby Lobby after Christmas. I got them for 80% off, so they were really inexpensive. And I like how they look mixed in on the tree here. Here's the little heart ornament I made in the DIY tutorial video that went up yesterday.
for my wicker dress form, you may have seen in my Christmas DIY videos and my tour, she had a, she was a dress form Christmas tree and her skirt was actually a green pine skirt that had ornaments and stuff in it. I went ahead and took that off. I left her tool belt and bow on and I just draped some pearls on her. I have a really fun concept I'm designing for um, an Easter dress form that I'm gonna do with her. So you guys can watch for that. Here's the little heart rag wreath I created in the DIY video. I hung that cute little heart mirror up and um, out from under my wings. I just thought that looked kind of cute. I've got my beautiful bee and willow tulips. And just this little wooden happy Valentine's tray. Here is the Harlequin love sign I made in the DIY video. And I just had these little distressed wooden hearts I laid in front of that. So that is it for the entryway. I'm going to take you guys in and show you my tablescape and my coffee bar. So here is the dining room table. And for those of you that have been with us and watched the Christmas home tour, you might remember my beautiful swan that I had in my bedroom. I just couldn't bear to put her away, so she is my centerpiece. I just love her. I got her at Hobby Lobby before Christmas. So I have a black and white buffalo plaid tablecloth and yes, it needs ironed, but really friends, I just did not have the time to get it done. I left the fur runner on that I had on at Christmas because yes, it is still winter and I just liked the look. I've got this little cake stand cloche with a candle and these fun little mercury glass crown votive holders. These are also Hobby Lobby. And just a little cupcake stand with a pillar candle. My swan is sitting in my large dough bowl and I have just taken a lamb's ear garland from Hobby Lobby and kind of wrapped it around her I put some lavender picks from Walmart peeking out the front and back here in the back. But I just love her. I was going to put a Harlequin black and white bow around her neck and I just haven't had time to do that. But I think she's gonna be sticking around for Easter, maybe not on the dining room table so I will still get a chance to do that bow. I don't know if you guys can see, but she sparkles. I don't know. I just am obsessed with her, and when I saw it, I just knew I had to have her. So as far as the place settings go, I have taken a pink scalloped charger. I got these in a set of eight at Ross uh, last year, I believe, before Easter. And the black and white checked plate is a Robert Stanley. They had these at Hobby Lobby. I got these for 80% off after Christmas. And then I stacked a leopard print salad plate on top of that. These are spring um, Hobby Lobby. I believe they were $7.99 and I did get them on sale for 40% off. And then on top of that, I have my certified international French garden cups and saucers. Get a better hold of this. I love the 
roses on these cups and some of them I think even have some little bees on them. And then I just put a buffalo check napkin in it. Uh, tablecloth and napkins were also after Christmas Hobby Lobby 80% off. And I've just got my cute bling crown napkin holder on that. So that is how the place settings are set up. And this is how the table looks. So let's go take a look at the coffee bar. So this is looking into the coffee bar area from the dining room. And up above on the top shelf, I put this big silver embossed tray. You, if you've been with me for a while, you've seen me decorate with this before in various places in my home. I hung a cute little piece of art over the top of that. It's a chandelier with some pink roses and bluebirds. I've got a silver plate water pitcher that I chalk painted in a cream color. And I've got some eucalyptus and some lace roses in that with my kisses sign and just a fun little fleur de lis pot with some spring greenery. On the next shelf, I have this wall art that looks kind of like embossed ceiling tin, but it's not. And just a cute little heart sign that's from Target Bullseye section from last year. And these You and Me mugs. On this next shelf, I hung my cute little French sign that my sister got me. And I left my hot cocoa pot out because like I said, it's still winter and filled it with some pretty flowers. I used one of the Robert Stanley black and white checked salad plates that I got after Christmas just for a pop of black and white. Got my cute little marshmallow cups. And then on this bottom shelf, I have this really cool mirrored French cafe um, tray. I got this at Hobby Lobby a few years ago. And in front of it, I have my Queen Bee mugs. And over here, I just hung this cute little heart with covered in white roses. No, baby. She's really playing with her toys, guys. Sorry for the background noise. And then this little setup, I got the large white rectangular metal tray in the Target Bullseye section while we were in San Diego. It was $5. I've got a little pink cake stand with a white metal two-tiered tray. All of these pieces were Target bullseye section right after Christmas when we were in San Diego. And our bullseye section here where we live is just awful. They never have anything, they never stock it. So I went ahead and grabbed these because I really liked them and I knew I wouldn't get them if I waited till we came home. The little home sweet home sign is also from there. The little lavender and a water pitcher I've had for a while. This cute little um, black and white plaid cheese board is from Michael's after Christmas. I got that for 80% off. I love to buy things after Christmas that I know I can use throughout the year. And I really got a lot of great pieces this year that I will be able to use all year. So that was great. These cute little ramekins also were from Michael's after Christmas for 80% off. I got my Kisses canister, and I have just a really cute little I Love You uh, Valentine's runner under my Keurig and my Verismo. These were from Target Bullseye section a couple years ago. 
And on my coffee canister, I have these, this awesome tag. My mom made me these a few years ago. And so I hung one off this canister. And then this other one, I hung off of my little sweet sugar bowl. And in this galvanized two-tier tray, I've got just this little kisses plate, some more of those little ramekins upside down with my sugar bowl, this cute little vintage kiss me sign that was Hobby Lobby a couple of years ago. I've got some cute pink lollipops in this cute little mason jar hanger. And I had to leave my penguin out. I just love him. So he's staying out for a while. The wooden heart is Target a couple of years ago. These cute little metal uh, containers were from Target Bullseye section this year. So that is how the coffee bar turned out. Nothing too over the top and fancy. Like I said, between not feeling good and the puppy, I haven't had too much time to decorate. On my mug rack, some of you may not have seen this before, I used the bed springs from my son's crib and hung it on the wall, and I hang my mugs on it. Yeah, sorry, there's a couple missing from here that we used this morning. But I hung these cute little vintage style ornaments that I got at Hobby Lobby. I have one here. And then I have this sweet little girl here next to my coffee bar sign. And I only have a few Valentine's Day mugs, so I just intermingled them with some of my others. So this is how the coffee bar turned out. If you would like to stick around and see the Trash to Treasure video on how I created that fun, distressed, wooden love sign with the galvanized uh, love sign or lettering over the top of it, stick around and we'll get into that next. If not, thank you so much for joining me today. For today's Trash to Treasure, we are going to be using this wooden heart that I picked up at the thrift store. As you can see, it is used for a wedding, and I believe this was from Hobby Lobby. I paid $2 for it, and I am going to use an 80 grit sandpaper to sand the words off. And then we will begin our next step. This is what my heart looks like now that the words have been removed. I went ahead and vacuumed it off to remove all the sanding dust and wiped it down really good. I am going to be using some Waverly chalk paint in the color ivory and an inexpensive chip brush to apply it. I have put some of the paint on a paper plate and I am going to kiss the bristles of my brush into the paint and wipe the excess off on a paper plate and I am just dry brushing this ivory paint onto the heart. I like to use very little at a time and then build the paint onto the project rather than get too much paint and have to sand it back. It doesn't give quite the same effect as when you do it slowly and build from there. So I am just going to continue this uh, process and I will show you what it looks like when I'm all done.
I have my heart completely painted now. I wanted to have a distressed wood look. I was really inspired by the wings that I have hanging in my entryway and I'm really happy with how they turned out. Next, we are going to take this corrugated metal love sign that I also got at the thrift store. I picked it up for $1. I want to attach it to the heart and I'm going to be placing it on an angle as shown here. So I will be taking two six inch lengths of wire and bending it into a U shape and putting it up underneath the picture hanger that is on each end of the love sign. See this one here? I'm just gonna put it up through there and bend it into a U. And then I am attaching the wire to these cross braces on the back of the heart and just securing the wire tightly so that it will hold my love sign in place over the top of the heart. As I said at the beginning of the video, I thought this heart was from Hobby Lobby and looking at the back of it, you can see this sticker down at the bottom is one of the I think it's like a control tag sticker that Hobby Lobby uses on their products. So it, yes, it is from Hobby Lobby. I'm not sure what this retails for, but I'm sure it wasn't $2. I have my trash to treasure project all finished and I'm really happy with how it turned out. Not bad for $3, huh? And just a little bit of paint. I wouldn't even say I used 50 cents worth of paint on this. So very inexpensive, very fun. This is something that I think will look great in my Valentine's Day vignettes, but really cute for every day if you wanted to. I love hearts and using them in my decor uh, year round. So this may stick around after Valentine's Day. I am going to go over and stage it with some of my other DIYs. And I hope you guys have really enjoyed this quick tutorial and the tour of my Valentine's Day vignettes. Thank you so much for watching. If you like this video, please give it a thumbs up. If you like what we are doing here on our channel and you'd like to follow along on our creative journey, please consider hitting that subscribe button along with the notification bell. Until next time, bye-bye.